Hello, I'm Erro Omeon and I'm going to teach you how to conquer maths with an abacus. Hold on for this series. Part 1. Abacy. The history and their importance. First things first. Scrammer Nazis plural is Abacy, Abacai, or Abacai. Not abacuses. If you use the second, don't be surprised if someone kills you with a spoon. Now, Definition time. For those unfamiliar with it, an abacus is an arrangement of beads in rods that allows you to count and make arithmetic operations. Most of us nowadays use paper, pencil, calculators, or computers for these operations. However, in older times, these tools didn't exist, so Abbasi were vital to make easy calculations as mental calculation was and still slower and less efficient than Abbasi. However, you would like to ask why should you care if you have our highly advanced calculation methods? So. Importance. Reason 1. For didactic reasons. If you're a father, a teacher, or you've not learned maths, for various reasons, this is useful for you. As you can see with children, they aren't really good with abstract thought, but they think about touching things and playing with their hands. Abbasi have been used to allow them to understand numbers easier. This tool is so useful to teach that it even allows to learn numbers to impaired or disabled children. Children with blindness, dyscalculia or autism can benefit from Abbasi as they allow them to use other senses. However, you don't have to have a medical condition to reinforce your understanding of numbers or teach your children with fun as it improves general mathematical abilities. Remember, kids like to charge. Reason 2. Because culture. If mathematical reasons are not what drives you, Maybe anthropology? Many cultures have built rituals around Abbasi, and understanding its mechanisms can help you to grasp that sweet anthropological juice. Some of those cultures are modern, for instance, and some are historical. So, you know, maybe it deserves some time to learn. And reason 3. The more you know. And with that, we go to... Types of Abbasi So, now we need to know the types of Abbasi. First, we have the Mesopotamian Abacus, that represented the base 60 system. It's not used nowadays, because it's messy to use. Second, we have the Occidental Abacus. It's the one you see in every paper store and it's base 10. It's not so useful for us, but if you have no access to ours, it could help. Third, I want to make a special mention for the Mesoamerican Abacus that reminds me of the dual disc of Yu-Gi-Oh! Since it's a bracelet made of leather with the beads slicing through leather cards, so it was portable. It was base 20. Also, there were other Abbasi, Egyptian, Persian, Greek, Roman, Indian, Russian, Incan, etc. However, the most important for us are the Chinese one and the Japanese one. The Chinese abacus is a wooden frame with rods divided in two decks by a wooden beam. The upper beam has two beads per rod, and the lower part has five beads. Those beads are tight so they stay where you want them to be even vertically. The beam in the middle can also have an engine that pushes the beads away from it. In normal use, you only use four low beads and one up, making it a base 10 uppercase with internal base 5. The other two beads are used if you want to use another base. 
or as an 8 previous to change a number of bits into its next value. The Japanese abacus is the same, but it gets rid of these extra two counts, making it more elegant. The Japanese abacus is the one we'll use in this cause, as most algorithms are designed for it and it's the one I'm the most familiar with. But if you want to use other abacy, the principles we're going to explore are the same. We're going to see details in the next video, so if you want to see it, click here or wait. Like, subscribe, and make all the particular YouTube things. Also, references in the doobly-doo. See you soon!